Hi, so my name's David Wilkins and my role at Cardiff University is a reader in social work. One of the modules I teach on is called Principles and Context of Statutory Social Work. Uh, why I think it's a really good module and I'm really happy that we do it in year one is because we all know working in statutory social work services is really difficult, uh, there's never enough resources, um, there's loads and loads of people who need help with lots and lots of complicated uh, needs and problems that they are facing up to in their life. And so I think what we try and do with the module is think through what are the key social work principles uh, that we believe in, that we value as a profession, but how do we translate those into that really difficult, complicated context of statutory social work? So it's a really hard thing to do. I think if we can do that well, it's a really good foundation for good social work practice. When I was a social worker in practice, uh, I had lots of um, different experiences, some challenging uh, and some really, really positive. Uh, one family that's always stuck in my mind uh, was we were working with uh, a mum and her two children, boy and a girl, um, and their dad. And there were lots of concerns about violence in the family, about drug use, about neglect. And we started care proceedings. So we were thinking about removing these two children from the care of the parents, placing them in foster care. Uh, that seemed to be the only option that we had. We were trying really, really hard to work with the family to engage with them, but nothing was really working. The day after we'd gone to court to start care proceedings, uh, the dad came in to see me at my social work office, completely out of the blue. He'd never come to, to an appointment before. Uh, he sat down with us, um, he cried with us, he told us all the things that he felt he wanted to do better for his children. We sat with him for two or three hours, me and my manager. We talked through everything that we felt he needed to do to help make sure that his children were safe. It was completely out of the blue. He took on everything we were saying and within a few weeks uh, the children had moved to live with him and he rang me up I think two or three years later to tell me how they were doing, how he'd set up his own business, the children were in school, they were thriving, it was a complete turnaround and it's the kind of magic moment if you like that you, you sometimes get in social work, not as often as you'd like, when it does happen really reminds you why you came into the profession and what difference it can make for children and families. In my own research recently I've been looking at the question of judgment and decision making in social work I think it's at the heart of good practice, getting the right decisions for families and people who use services. I think without that, it's very hard to claim that we're doing good social work. Uh, so we're learning a lot from that research, hopefully. And in terms of the program here at Cardiff, uh, we've been able to identify some ways to support people, to give you the tools you need to think through ethical dilemmas, uh, to balance your own professional and personal values, uh, and to make sure that you're including families and people using services at the center of your decision making.